Hey, hope you're doing great and I know it's been a while since I posted a video on this platform. So this is my laptop that helps me to get my office work and my editing done. It's a Dell Inspiron 5502 which is a mid-ranger. It comes with 11 Gen i7 processor with Nvidia graphics. It's perfect for a mid-ranger. But there's one issue that I need to tell you. When I purchased this laptop, it came with a 1512GB NVMe SSD which is not that great because when I'm doing editing, file sizes could go up to 600GB or something. So I had to purchase a second NVMe SSD which was a Kingston. For some reason that SSD had many issues with this laptop. Then the seller swapped the Kingston SSD to a transient one which works fine for this day. However, there's another one issue that's wrong with this NVMe. When I'm transferring files to the NVMe, it's getting overheated beyond the manufacturer specified temperature range. Sometimes it's getting heated up to 80 degrees or 85 degrees Celsius which is 10 degrees or 15 degrees higher than the recommended temperature by the manufacturer. Though this doesn't cause me any short term problems, I know that this could be a disaster with the time. I wanted to find a solution for this overheating problem and when I searched online, I noticed that in the Transcend website itself, they have mentioned that it's not required to cool down the NVMe's using a fan or something. But I still wanted to get the temperature down by 10 degrees or 15 degrees Celsius because I wasn't comfortable with an overheating component in my laptop. So when I searched online, I found this heatsink kit that's designed for NVMe's and I just bought it for less than $5. Let's install this one and check whether this can lower the temperature of the NVMe. Before opening it up, I'm gonna shut down the laptop. To make some space, let's keep the keyboard and the mouse aside and unplug the cables attached to the laptop. I'm gonna close the lid and flip it so I can unscrew the screws that are on the bottom side. To unscrew the bottom plate, I'm using a Phillip head screwdriver that I had earlier. There are 8 screws and these two screws won't come fully unscrewed as they have a holding washer with them. After unscrewing, let's pry from this side and unclip the bottom plate and lift the bottom plate like this and let's keep it aside. This is the NVMe that came with this laptop and this is the second NVMe that I installed separately. This is where the battery gets plugged into the main board. Before working on the laptop, it's good to disconnect the battery from the main board to avoid any short circuits. I can simply unplug it by pushing from these two tabs on the both sides. After that's done, I can focus on installing the heatsink. So I'm gonna unscrew the screw that's holding the NVMe using a Phillip head screwdriver. And I can lift the NVMe from this corner just like that. After lifting it up, we can pull it out with a little wiggle. So this is the NVMe and the blue color pad that you can see is a heat conductive tape that touches the bottom side of this NVMe and it came from the factory. I'm gonna keep the laptop aside to explore the heat sink kit. Let's make it open and take out the accessories that came with it. So this is the heat conductive tape that comes with this kit and this is a heat sink, wet and dry wipes and cheap screwdriver, two rubber bands, this is a screw riser and finally this is an additional screw that comes with the kit. As the bottom side of the NVMe already touching the laptop's heat conductive tape, we will have to install the heat sink on the upper side. First of all, I want to check whether the heat sink doesn't cover the screw hole of the NVMe and let's go ahead and test with the heat conductive tape and it seems like it's okay. Let's try the heatsink as well and it seems like both are aligning properly and not covering the screw hole. I'm gonna remove the clear tape on one side of the heat conductive tape and attach it to the heatsink. Also, let's remove the clear tape on the other side and place it on top of the NVMe without covering the screw hole. As it's aligned properly, let's attach the two rubber bands to hold it more stably.
I'm gonna take the rubber band that I installed first to the other side to ensure the chips on the bottom side of the NVMe touch the heat conductive tape that's on the laptop. Let's keep the wet and dry wipes and the screws and the screwdriver side and take the laptop closer to install the NVMe. To install it, we need to simply slide the NVMe into the slot and screw it with the flipper screwdriver. Let's connect the battery by sliding into the slot and install the bottom cover once again and screw them up. Let's flip it and turn on the laptop and run the same old test by copying a file into the NVMe to check the temperature using the Transcend SSD scope pack. So this is after a couple of minutes turning on the laptop and the NVMe operates in the normal temperature range which is 50 degrees of Celsius. And I'm really happy to see that temperature drop. So that's how you can install an heatsink onto your overheating NVMe. I hope you liked the video and if you did, consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next time. Until then, stay safe and take care.